I'm in the Moab by Legion booth. Wow, that's just really glary. But Moab, M-O-A-V. I'm with Mark. Shotland. Shotland, that's how you pronounce it? Yes. S C H O T L A N D. That's correct. Cool. And uh, I guess we're going to take a look at an upcoming metallic paper, something that's uh, kind of a continuation of the metallic paper line that you guys uh, launched a couple months ago. Yeah, okay. so it all started with Slick Rock Metallic. Hey, I'll see you in one second. Here's his video tape. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> Do you have to redo that one? Nope, that's fine. <laughs> I'll still keep going. Nope, it all cool. started about a year ago, Slick Rock Metallic Pearl, which is our metallic inkjet paper that we launched. And it uh, is part of the whole trend now of people wanting to do metallic papers at home. Okay. And so this enables not only the amateur but also the professional to create uh, almost 3D quality images on a pearlescent metallic paper. And we found that uh, black and white images just seem to really pop off the paper with deep dark blacks with a lot of detail that uh, nobody has really seen before. And it has an effect in the lighting to really give it, uh, as I mentioned, a three-dimensional quality. So this is what we launched about a year ago. And so we wanted to start building out the metallic family, the Slick Rock metallic family, okay. which leads us to the new Slick Rock metallic silver. Oh, thanks for testing that. That's good. Or he's still adjusting. Yeah, he's still adjusting. Awesome. It's much straighter than it was just a second ago. Uh, there you go. Great. Thank you. It's Excellent. Very quickly. So. And Josh is our sign manufacturer. See? Yeah. See? <laughs> I'll, I'm going to fix that afterwards, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so Slick yeah. Rock Metallic Silver is what right what you see now is in prototype form. So this is something we just want to show people that we're going to be launching in the next two to three months. And it, it takes the, uh, the metallic an extra step further and actually makes it a true uh, reflective material that you can then produce at home on your inkjet machine. Now, uh, people, before you continue too, yeah. uh, just to clarify, previously if you wanted metallic prints, you would have to get like Kodak Endura Metallic through an RA4 pipe process. Right? But, exactly. Well, actually, yeah. Slick Rock answered that because the closest paper now to the Endura product on the market is Slick Rock. Oh. It's almost comparable to it. If you put Slick Rock next to Endura, it looks very similar to it really? if you have an image that's on there. Okay, so now. So this so, takes it to the next level where it's actually uh, almost mirror like, where it's, right. it's a reflective quality that, that has never really been seen before in the inkjet paper. There are some products out there that have uh, a very long dry time, so you really can't touch the print because the inks have to set in for like a 24-hour period. So this is instant dry? This is instant dry. Print on it just like if you're printing on a regular gloss or a matte paper. It comes out of your printer. You can hold it right okay. away. And then uh, using... Sorry. And what, which inks are you, or what, I guess what inks are these compatible with? Yeah, these are compatible with uh, the photo black inks okay. on whatever printer they're using. They're compatible with any inkjet printer. We make profiles for all the photo grade printers from Canon and Epson. Okay, so say even with a pigment, even with a pigment printer, we won't see any kind of gloss differential or anything. Right, exactly. So you can use this with the pigment printers, and you can use it with a dye. The dye inks, funnily enough, will actually produce more of a luminance because it's because uh, it's the paper we have translucent inks yeah. that is yeah. popping through. Cool. Uh, I guess what makes it so metallic now? Well, it's actually the base of the paper, which is actually a film, creates the metallic uh, look because it actually is metallic. Wow. So it's like, so it's actually like a so metal. The reason why this is a prototype is because this is the uh, film that we're using in which the final version will be laminated to a sheet of paper. Okay. So this is just the, we're showing this primarily for the coating okay. at the show. So I guess as it is formed right now, this is not 260 gram per square meter. No, not so at all. That's the final specification. Exactly. The final spec will be 260 gram, uh, which is comparable to the existing Slick Rock Metallic Pearl. Okay, excellent. So we're trying to keep it similar within the same family. And I guess then for uh, D-Max and Color Gamut too, is it going to be similar to the existing product? It's going to be a little bit different. We're right now trying to test this. It's very, very difficult to get to, to uh, produce a profile on this because just all the spectrometers are just uh, bouncing back the, the light. So we're, can't, we're trying to get accurate readings off this. Right. But um, for the most part, yeah, we're trying to get the deepest blacks that we can on the substrate. And the reason why this is difficult is because there's nothing else like this on the market that exists. So we're actually creating this from the ground up. This is our 
substrate and it's also our coding. Okay. So we're developing this ourselves through our own R&D. That's why we've been working on it for about two years now. Okay. I guess, what are you guys using to try to create the profile? What kind of software, what kind of hardware? Uh, yeah. We're using, I believe, I don't even handle that part of it, so we have a whole technical division, and Andy Biggs is the photographer who actually runs our technical department, so I, I don't know what he actually uses. I think it's an X-Rite. I think he's using X-Rite. I, I believe so. Uh, I guess that's it. But this is probably the most important bullet point right there. <laughs> the best product I've seen in this show. I haven't seen it. This is really, did you notice this is a really tiny show? This is like, yeah, uh, no, it's a lot smaller. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. No, the, you'll notice yeah. that the aisles are wider as well. <laughs> so yeah. that means it's more concentrated. And this is actually one of our larger booths that we've had. Wow. So we usually are in a 10 by 20, <laughs> smaller. Yeah, it's in here. Anyway, again, Mark. The format of this, a lot of times. Thank you. Thank you.